What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I have the much anticipated How to Soft Mod Your Wii U Part 7 Installing Hacks Chi on a DS Virtual Console game. Now when you've completed installing Hacks Chi over top of a DS Virtual Console game such as Brain Age, you will be able to launch custom firmware and homebrew without needing an internet connection or any sort of web exploit. Installing Hackschi also leaves you open to, in the future, installing Cold Boot Hackschi, which would load custom firmware every time you turned on your Wii U. In this video, I'm only going to be covering Hackschi on 5.5.1 devices. If you happen to have a 5.5.2 devices, stay tuned and check the description for my video on how to get Hackschi on 5.5.2. I hope you guys are ready. Keep watching. Just a quick disclaimer, although HaxG is perfectly safe to install, I'm not responsible for any damage to your Wii U by following this tutorial. Should you install Cold Boot HaxG after following this tutorial, please know there is a risk of bricking your Wii U with Cold Boot HaxG. HaxG is perfectly safe, but Cold Boot HaxG has risks. So I'm going to tell you, stay tuned at the end for the do's and don'ts of HaxG and Cold Boot HaxG, so you know what you can do to keep your Wii U running perfectly. What you're going to need to get started installing Hackschi is number one, a legit purchased eShop DS Virtual Console game that is compatible with Hackschi. I'll put a full game list in the description. You might already have one of these DS Virtual Console games that could work for you. Now, just be noted, you're not going to be able to play that game anymore after Hackschi is installed on top of it, unless you plan on uninstalling Hackschi just to play that game again. The game I'm going to be using is Brain Age, Train Your Brain in Minutes a Day, and it's the most commonly used game for Hacks Chi. Now, I cannot stress enough, this has to be a legit purchased game. You cannot use a pirated game for this. I have purchased Brain Age from the eShop. It's under $10, and it's currently the cheapest game that works with this. Just a side note, if you happen to be in a PAL region, Brain Age is called Dr. Kawashima's Brain Training. Number two, you're going to need a homebrew launcher, new patcher, as well as HackChi installer on your Wii U SD card. Now, if you followed my previous tutorial, we're essentially just going to be adding a couple of extra files onto our Wii U's SD card, and we'll be ready to go. Go ahead and insert your Wii U's SD card into an SD card reader and open it up on your PC. You can see I've got mine here. Yours should look fairly similar since we've been doing the same tutorials, more than likely. All we have to do is add a few Hackschi setup files onto our SD card and we'll be ready to go. So go down to the description and go ahead and grab yourself this Hackschi setup files.zip folder. This is provided by Matt Kimura. We are not affiliated in any way, but I will put a link in the description to his Wii U tutorials as I think it's one of the best on the internet. So now that you've got your Hackschi setup files.zip, go ahead and right click it and use 7-zip to extract it to here. Now this is going to give you a ton of files here. Inside of this install folder is the homebrew launcher channel. If you followed my previous video, you already have the homebrew launcher channel installed onto your system menu, so you don't have to worry about this too much. All we're going to do is copy over Hackschi, cold boot Hackschi, which we're probably not going to be using, but it's just there to have it in case you feel like doing it later as well as this Wii U folder. So we're going to take all three of these and drag these onto my root of my SD card and it should merge the files all together. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the files in the destination. And we're pretty much ready to go. You now need to safely eject your SD card from your computer and reinsert it into your Wii U. Go ahead and reinsert your SD card into your Wii U and power it on. We need to now boot into the homebrew launcher using our web exploit so that we can enable new patcher. So go ahead and launch your internet browser. Now that you've booted into the homebrew launcher, go ahead and look for new patcher, NNU patcher. Go ahead and click on it and load it. This will take you back to your Wii U system menu and next time you load up the eShop, it will let you right in. We've loaded back into the home menu here. Now if I go ahead and launch the eShop, it's going to let me go right into it even though I'm on 5.5.1 still. And there you have it. We're now in the eShop on 5.5.1 thanks to Newpatcher.
With your eShop loaded, go ahead and click the search in the top right and search for Brain Age. So this is the game here, Brain Age, Train Your Brain in Minutes a Day. It's the only Nintendo DS Virtual Console game called Brain Age. The other one is for the 3DS. Go ahead and click Purchase. When it's done, hit Continue. When you're back on the eShop, hit the B button, and then from here, hit the Home button. You should see your little blue Download Management going. Go ahead and click on it. And once you're in Download Management, you should see your DS Virtual Console game installing. If your game doesn't start downloading, it's possible there's some sort of half-downloaded update blocking it from being downloaded as priority. So I'm going to put a link in the description where you can follow along and delete any potential update that might be lurking inside of your Wii U and preventing your Virtual Console game download. I'm going to head back to the system menu now, and we should see our Brain Age game. And here we have it. This is Brain Age, train your brain in minutes a day, ready to get HaxChi installed on top of it. Now first we have to do a few things. This game has to be on your system NAND. It cannot be on a USB drive or an external hard drive. So if it does happen to be on a USB or an external hard drive, go into your system settings and data management and move it over to your system. So I've got this installed on my system. What I did to make sure that it didn't install to a USB was I made sure I had no hard drives plugged into my Wii U when I went and downloaded it. Sometimes if you have a USB plugged in when you download a game, the Wii U will prioritize the USB drive as storage and it will put the game onto it. It's super simple to move it over to the system NAND, so make sure you do that. And once it's on your system NAND, we need to launch this game once just to make sure that it works. So now that we've loaded up Brain Age and we see that it works, what we need to do now is just exit out of this and turn off our Wii U and then turn it back on. We've rebooted back onto the system menu. Now the whole reason we turned the system off and then turned it back on was to make sure that we were out of new patcher and that in case you had Mocha custom firmware on, now you do not. When you're going to be using the HaxChi installer, you want to make sure you are not in Mocha custom firmware. So that was the whole reasoning behind turning the system off and turning it back on. Now we're fresh, ready to go. What we need to do is launch our internet exploit so that we can boot into the homebrew launcher and get that HaxChi installer going. You can see I've moved BrainAge over here just so it's a little bit more accessible to me. I'm going to go ahead and launch the internet browser now and I'll meet you in the homebrew launcher. Now your DS Virtual Console game is legitly purchased. It's on your system NAND and not on a USB. You're not in Mocha Custom Firmware, and you've got the Homebrew Launcher open. So what you need to do is make sure you do not click Cold Boot Hacks Chi Installer. That one with the exclamation point, do not click it. Go ahead and look for Hacks Chi in the white lettering and the dark background. Go ahead and click on it, and it says this will install Hacks Chi on your system. Go ahead and hit load. We've booted into the HaxChi installer, and you can see it's picking up all of my pirated DS Virtual Console games. So this is where you want to make sure you actually pick your purchased legit game. So I've got Brain Age, Train Your Brain in Minutes a Day. It is my legit game. I'm going to go ahead and press the A button on it. It says, I have selected the following game, Brain Age, Train Your Brain in Minutes a Day. This will install HaxChi. To remove it, all you have to do is delete and reinstall the game. If you're sure, press the A button or else press the home button to back out now. So I'm going to go ahead and press the A button. I'm going to make the leap and I'm going to install HaxChi. Here we go, guys. And it was that simple. We are now done installing HaxChi. I can't even believe it. So my system is now going to go ahead and reboot. We've loaded back onto the Wii U and you can see my DS Virtual Console game has been replaced with this little homebrew launcher icon. So essentially, if I click on this, it will now boot me into the homebrew launcher by default. If I hold the A button, it will load something similar to Mocha Custom Firmware, which will basically patch my system for me. And when I restart the system, I'm going to have to patch it again, very similar to Mocha Custom Firmware. 
And then you can also see if you hold B, it'll take you right into WUP Installer GX2. And then you can go into the App Store as well as FTP IU. So what is awesome about this is you can change the config file and get this to boot any homebrew you want by holding a button combination. So I'm going to go ahead and just launch it now and see if it takes me into the homebrew launcher. There we are. We're now in the homebrew launcher without needing any kind of internet access or a web exploit. How freaking awesome is that, guys? So now that you have Haxchi installed, you're pretty much free to go ahead and install Cold Boot Haxchi if you wanted to have custom firmware every time you turned on your Wii U. I am not exactly recommending that, but I will put a couple links in the description that should get you going if you wanted to get Cold Boot Haxchi installed. But as you can see, if I click on it here, you are willing to take the risk of bricking your console if you use this. So Cold Boot Haxchi essentially installs over top of Haxchi, and when your Wii U boots up, it automatically launches its custom firmware. Now, the whole reason that this can brick you is if you happen to delete the DS Virtual Console game that it is installed over, then the system will try to boot, won't be able to find that title, and your system will be toast. Your Wii U will no longer be able to run no matter what you do. That is one of the risks of Cold Boot Hacks Chi. A lot of people install this and then never touch the Virtual Console game again, and they end up using the Homebrew shortcut that we made in a previous video to launch into the Homebrew Launcher, since they're always in custom firmware after that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you now have Hacks Chi on your Wii U's, and I hope you don't need any internet connection to launch Homebrew. This was super fun and super simple. I can't believe that something like this exists, and although it does cost a little bit of money, I think the benefits far outweigh the costs. Make sure you guys slam that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. At the time of making this video, we're at about 5,000 subscribers, and I can't even believe it. Much love. Throw down a comment and let me know if you guys did hacks cheat on your Wii U, or if you were too scared to do it, or if you were super brave and you went all the way and installed Cold Boot Hacks Chi. I'm going to be having that 5.5.2 version of this coming out soon, so make sure you check out for that. I will see you guys next time.